everybody doing? Welcome back to Outside Podcast. It's a nice, dreary... I don't know if you can read that. It's 71 degrees. It's fucking February. That's Mississippi winter for you. We don't have winter down here anymore. We just got rain and dark skies. I don't know how well it's coming out. Look at that. Well, found out there was a pawn shop in town I didn't know about. <laughs> because it's a little ways outside town. So I decided to go hit it today. And racked up. I got all what I'm going to show you. The guy, he was... The sign said $3 for Blu-rays. DVDs were three bucks a piece, or you could get two. No, they're two dollars a piece, or you get two for three. So I did them in stacks of two, and it worked out. In my house, we're figuring out my house roughly like forty bucks. I got these. Oh man, that's what I've been waiting for. You need to come back more often. I'll cut you a deal. It's like all right, cool. Yeah, I'm thinking okay, thirty. I told him, oh, I got about forty bucks worth. I think he's gonna say thirty. He's like, give me twenty-five bucks. Okay, if I'd known that, I would have got a lot more because there's stuff I put aside. But let's get started here. Oh, I'm gonna save that for last. That is the best. We got Titus, season three. Everything's there. I don't remember ever seeing the third season of Titus. We got season one, volume one of The Man Show. Back when Jimmy Kimmel wasn't the way he is now. Then of course we got season one, volume one. We got season one, volume two of The Man Show. I barely watched it. I thought, hell, for the cheap price. Uh, this is a resale thing. Got Knucklehead with the Big Show. Got another copy of Knucklehead with the Big Show. Great Outdoors. This is an upgrade. Um, I gotta probably put this in a different case. I had this on VHS. I've never seen this in theaters. It's one of the John Candy films nobody ever talks about anymore. Great film. John Candy, Dan Aykroyd. Soul Plane, another upgrade. Upgrading this from um, VHS to DVD. Never seen this. The King of Fighters. I took a chance. I was at Maggie Q. So I was Ray Park. So it might be some decent action sequences. Bought this just to get the next Friday because I've never seen the second Friday film. I have the third. I have the first. Now I have all three. Another for resale. This is Stone Cold Steve Austin, Vinnie Jones, The Condemned. Another for resale. Because Stone Cold said so. Wrestling DVDs are getting harder and harder to come by. And then, just I actually enjoy this film. I'm weird. I'm the one that likes the even the odd numbered Terminators, like like a one, three, five. I've never seen four. I've not seen six. I hated two. I didn't mind this one. And for the music, that's the Spokane Archie soundtrack right there. It was all like Spokane, Washington bands that were hitting when the punk scene was really getting big. I'm going to leave that one put to the side. because that's, that's the one when I found it. That's when I knew I'd hit a good pawn shop. I can usually look through their stuff and tell, okay, you know, you go in some pawn shop, especially around here, because this is a really rural area. So these pawn shops are going to be loaded down with hunting and fishing DVDs. I didn't know they made those, but they got them. All right, going on to our second bag here. And there's a few items I bought that I've pulled out because they are gifts for somebody. Mirrors 2 unrated. Heard this was good for the price. I took a chance. It's kind of going order, so we'll do them that way. We got Bad Santa. No, no, this is just the R-rated version. I know there's an unrated, but for the price. Then I got Badder Santa, the unrated version. Another one's just the R-rated. The Girl Next Door is not the Jack Ketchum film. Never heard of this, but I took a chance of Manson, Fa Manson Family Massacre. Once Upon a Time in Beverly Hills. This looks fairly new, like fairly recent. I don't know how the hell I don't own this on any form. I love this fucking movie. Fucking Commando. And their Blu-ray selection was okay, but it was nothing that I wanted to pay three bucks for. Okay, another for resale. The Marine, unrated. I'll put it with the book. I'll pair it up with the book. I got the Marine novelization I'm trying to sell. Another one, I don't know how the hell I don't own this, because I love this fucking movie. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the Bueller Bueller edition. I don't know what's extra on that. And then the last, and this is just because I got the first season. Got the Osborne second season. Yeah, I know my car is junked out right now. I'm getting ready to clean it again. We just did a show a couple weeks ago. My car gets junky as hell right after the show. Okay, and then the final one. And this is the Darius Collection Picasso Trigger. This is the original releases from Ventura. With all the extras and shit that are now on Blu-ray. <coughs> and this has still got all the inserts and everything. I free This is the thing. It's got the insert and everything. I was like, holy hell. I have never in person seen these Ventura releases. I've seen the Brentwood and the, what, Mill Creek. I've seen all those. I've never seen a Ventura release of this. 
and I was so happy when I found it. I was like, fuck yeah. But yeah, not a bad little haul. Like I said, 25 bucks. And I probably burnt probably about a quarter take of gas going out there and coming back because it's way out, outside of town. It's a good like 10, 15 minutes outside of town. But yeah, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I mean, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.